English speaking course. What is your problem? Joe. Oh, morning. I've got a bit of a problem. What is your problem? Well, I've made a mistake. A big mistake. I'm getting worried now. What's going on? It was late last night and I accidentally used my company credit card instead of my own to buy stuff. Don't worry, these things happen. How much did you spend? It was quite a lot. Chris, how much? $782.56. What? You spent $782.56. And 56 cents. Okay, calm down. We will find a solution. Please help yourself. Thanks for inviting me over for dinner this evening. You're welcome. Wow, what is that? It looks delicious. Well, here. It is shrimp with a secret recipe. Please help yourself. It's fresh. Thank you. Let me try. It tastes delicious. This is like a five-star restaurant. Have some more. Yeah, I will. Do you want to have a drink? What do you have? Soda, beer, orange juice, and wine. Should we try the wine? Hmm, did you drive here? No, I called a taxi. Great, I will drive you home. It's up to you. I'm planning to go to Texas next weekend. That sounds great. Where will you go when you get there? I'm not sure yet. I have to make a plan. Where can I get a map of Texas? I have one. I can lend it to you. That would be great. I'll take care of it and give it back when I'm done. You should use the online map. It's more convenient. I'm not really good at online maps. Okay, it's up to you. Just be careful because it's my only copy. Where should I visit first? in Texas. I don't know, I haven't gone there yet. But why do you have the map? I like to collect maps of the state. Doesn't matter. Hi, Tom is speaking. Hey, what are you doing? I'm driving. Where are you now? I'm on the way to your house to pick you up. What's up? Do you know what time it is? We're going to be late. It doesn't matter if we're late. It's only a party. We'll get there when we get there. Doesn't matter. But I don't want to be late. We're going to miss some funny parts, mate. Relax. I'm going to be there in 10 minutes. We will be around 15 minutes late. Okay, quickly. I will call back later. Hi, this is Pearl Restaurant. How can I help you? Hi, I would like to make a dinner reservation. Of course, what evening will you be joining us? We will need the reservation for Tuesday night. How many people will you need the reservation for? There will be four of us. What time would you like the reservation for? We would prefer 7 or 7.30. I'm so sorry. We are full at that time on Tuesday. Would you like to book a table earlier at 6.30 or later at 8? Oh, uh, I need to ask my friend's thoughts. I will call back later. 
Sure, I'm so sorry for any inconvenience. It's okay. Thanks. I will not talk to him. Hey, you still have my book. Really? Which one? Sapiens. Where did I put it? I read it the last time at Peter's house. Don't tell me that you forgot it at your ex's house. Unfortunately, I think I did. My, can you call him to ask about it? I will not talk to him again. Come on, that is my favorite one. I want to read it again. Can I buy you a new one for you? I promise. I will go to the bookstore today to buy it for you. But I noted many things on it. It's really important to me. Okay, I will try to contact him. The examinations will start on Monday. Hi, darling. Hi, Grandma. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm wonderful. I really miss you, my pumpkin. When will you finish the school year? It's going to finish soon. The examinations will start on Monday. Yeah, I really look forward to your summer break. I really want to see you. Me too. I will tell Mom to book a flight to visit you as soon as possible. Perfect. You should prepare well for your examination. If your scores are good, I will have a big present for you. Really? What is that, Grandma? It's a secret. I'm so curious. I will try my best. Thank you for inviting us. What are you doing on Friday night? Nothing special. Why? I was wondering if your family would like to come to a party on Friday night. Is it a special day? It's my daughter's birthday. We're going to hold a small party. Thank you for inviting us. I am free that night and a party sounds good. What time? You can come around six. We have a small playground so the kids can play there. That's perfect. Would you like some help with the food? No, I prepared everything. Just come and enjoy it. Thanks. We will be there. I declined it. How was your interview last week? It went well. Great. Do you think you will pass the interview? I got the result. What is that? I passed. Congrats. When will you start your new job? It must be a great offer. I declined it. Why? Isn't it a good job? No. Oh, JD is about a marketing job. All the tasks are about telesales. Oh, my. I think they are scammers. I was disappointed a bit. No worries. You're going to find a great job. Don't be rushed. Thank you. If you see any job advertisements for marketing, please send them to me. Sure. I will keep it in mind. Put the books in order. Arthur, do you have this book? I think yes. But it is somewhere on the bookshelf in the reading room. Can you help me find it? I'm busy now. Can you find it yourself? Okay, let me try. Did you find it? I can help you now. I'm done. Not yet. Put the books in order. It is helpful for finding books when you need them. 
Yeah, I was going to do that, but I'm too busy. You can do it now. I will help you while finding my book. Perfect. Thank you. Let's do it. Are you allergic to anything? Today I will make dinner for you. Really? For what occasion? As a thank you for your help. Okay. Can you cook? I will try my best. Okay. I believe in you. But what dish will you make? I haven't decided yet. Are you allergic to anything? Well, no. But I hate coconut. Oh, coconut is my favorite one. But, okay, I will avoid it. Thank you. Can't wait for your dish. I have to say I'm not sure how good it will be. Don't worry. I appreciate your effort. What genres of music do you like? Can I turn on some music? Sure. Have you finished your work? I'm afraid that it will affect you. Don't worry. I also want to listen to some music. Okay. What genres of music do you like? I like rock music. Well, rock is suitable for you. Really? Why? Your fashion style and your appearance tell me that. So cool. Yeah, maybe. But I still listen to other genres. Ah. Let's listen to Adele. Right. She has a new song that I haven't listened to it. I'm too busy. Me neither. Fox guarding the hen house. Do you know about Lisa's scandal? What's that? Some of my friends said she stole a friend's paper and submitted it first, so this girl failed the subject as a result. Oh, God. I haven't heard about it. It just just happened. Well... Moreover, she was previously accused of plagiarizing other people's ideas for her essays. You know what? Yesterday I sent her my assignment paper. Really? Why did you do that? I don't know. She said she wanted to see it, and I didn't care much. I don't think she will do something with my paper. Oh, no. That's like the fox guarding the hen house. I'm so nervous right now. You should be more careful. Do you collect books? Where are you going? I'm going to the old bookstore. Oh, that's great. I go there twice a week on Monday and Friday. Do you collect books? Sure. I am collecting old books, especially limited editions. Wow, amazing. There must be a lot of books in your house. Yeah, I have quite a big collection. Can I go see it? Sure. Whatever you want. I have free time today. Great, let's go. I wasn't invited. I forgot my coat at Daisy's wedding. Oh, have you contacted her to get it? Yeah, I have. I will get it this afternoon. Wait, did Daisy get married? Are you kidding? No, her wedding was last Thursday. Really? Didn't you participate in her wedding? I wasn't invited. Oh. I don't know why, but I hadn't received any information about her wedding. I think she just forgot. I'm pretty disappointed. She forgot me. Don't say that. She had a lot of things to do. But I'm still sad. My 
My father did not even bother to answer me. What's wrong? I had a conflict with my father. What happened? About my dream job. I didn't work in the business field as he wanted. I want to pursue my dream as a model. Well, I see you have talent in this field. Thank you, but my dad doesn't agree. We are still arguing. How did he react? Extremely harsh. He did not even bother to answer me. What will you do? I don't know, but I'm still trying to persuade him. How about your mom? Did she agree? She said nothing. I think she is not happy with my decision, but she still supports me. If you can't talk with your dad, maybe you can ask your mom to help you. Yeah. This is the best salad I've ever had. What are you cooking? Well, there's not much left in the fridge. Oh God, I forgot to buy food. There's only some vegetables. I'm making some salad for you. Oh, that's good. I love salad. I always have a salad because I'm on a diet. I learned the recipe from my mom. I will make it for you to try. Amazing. I can't wait. What do you think? Hannah, can I know the recipe? Is it bad? Oh no, I followed what my mom did. It's so strange. No, this is the best salad I've ever had. That's good. I was afraid it was not good. I love it. And I want to make it myself. Okay, I will teach you later. I have some old clothes to donate. Julia, I saw your status about donating on your Instagram last night. Right. I'm working as a volunteer for an organization. We have a project for children in the mountainous area. It's so meaningful. Yeah. So we're encouraging people to donate clothes, books, and food for them. I have some old clothes to donate. That's great. You can give them to me. Okay. I will arrange them and bring them to you tomorrow. Sure. If you have friends or relatives who have clothes, please ask them to donate to those who are in need. Yes, I will talk to my friends about this meaningful project. Thank you so much. Get in shape. How can you get in shape? I don't do anything much. I also want to be in shape like you, but I don't know what to do. What's your secret? I have no secret. But how do you do it? Like eating on a diet or going to the gym or something like that? Actually, I used to go to the gym, but I have no time to continue. So I focus on my diet. That's good. I am also busy. How about doing exercises? I don't do it regularly, just when I have time. Yoga is another way for you to try. Oh, I've heard of yoga. It was your idea to go to the beach. Oh, I'm so tired. What's wrong? There's nothing to do here. It's boring. What? It was your idea to go to the beach. But I couldn't imagine how boring it is. I asked you many times about the place to go and you chose the beach. Now we're on the beach. But there's no mall, no entertainment. There's nothing to do. There's a lot of activities to do at the beach. For example, swimming, diving if you want, or playing beach volleyball. I will try it later, but I'm pretty sure that I don't like the beach anymore. Do you use makeup? Uh, 
Oh, you look pretty today. Thank you. Am I okay? Sure. You are so beautiful. Do you use makeup? Yeah, it's kind of strange, to be honest. I'm afraid that others can't recognize me because of my makeup. No way. You know, makeup just helps you be more confident. It can't make you become someone else. Really? Believe me. Okay, because today is a special day. I want to become a bit special. I got it. Did you do it yourself? Yes, it took me like two hours. Well, it really paid off. Thank you. Do you do any gardening? I have a lot of flower seeds. Did you buy them? Yeah, I bought them last week because I wanted to plant them in my garden. Sounds great. Have you planted them? Yeah, but my garden is quite small and I have too many seeds left. Oh, I see. I remember your house has a garden. Do you want to plant flowers in it? You will have a garden full of flowers after a few months. I love a flower garden. That's great. Do you do any gardening? Actually, my mom enjoys gardening. She regularly plants some trees and flowers when she has time. You can take the seeds to your house. Thank you. I'm sure that my mom will be really happy about that. Can I offer you a ride home? Thank you for today. You really helped me. Don't say that. It's my responsibility. I hope that we can have a chance to collaborate next time. Of course. You're one of the biggest partners of my company. My pleasure. And, Miss Daisy, will you go home now? Yes, it's 5 p.m. How did you get here today? I took a taxi because my car broke. Ah, right. So, can I offer you a ride home? Oh, I don't want to bother you. No way. Don't worry. Thank you so much. No problem. Give me a minute. Your dog ran across the park. Where are you going? I'm finding my Luke. Luke? Is he your friend? No, it's my dog. Oh, his name is Luke. But why are you finding him? I was walking him when I met a friend, and we talked for a while. Then I realized he was gone. Oh, God. I think he won't go far. Hope so. Oh, Jackson. Did you see your dog, Luke? Yeah, your dog ran across the park. Oh, really? Thank you so much. Don't worry. Go ahead. I will talk to you later. I have to find my dog. Sure. See you later. Do you think she still remembers me? Lucy, is that Hannah? Hannah, where? Over there, in the corner of the room, right? All oh, right. Go say hi to her. Do you think she still remembers? Why not? When we were in university, you were in a club. You were quite close at that time. But we haven't kept in touch. I feel a bit shy. Don't be shy. I think you'd be happy to see old friends here. I'm only afraid she won't recognize me. I don't think so. Okay, I'll say hi to her. Did you invest your money? Are 
I heard that Jack is establishing his own restaurant. That's right. He decided to quit his current job and follow his dream. Is his ambition to become a chef? Yes. He always wanted to be a chef and have his own restaurant. Wow, that sounds great. He is working so hard to learn and create new recipes for Italian food. Can't wait for his restaurant. But he also has a headache because of the investment money. I understand that. He needs a lot of money to build the restaurant. Yeah. Did you invest your money? Of course, but I don't have much. Many a little makes a mickle. Don't worry. Hope so. He should be asleep by now. What are you doing? Mom, I love you. You're back. Why are you sitting here? Do you know what time it is? Come on, it's just 10 p.m. No, it's too late. He should be asleep by now. We're watching a movie and waiting for you. Okay, now I'm here. Henry, go upstairs and go to bed now. Yes, Mom. Henry should go to bed early. You shouldn't let him watch a lot of television. I know. Are you tired? Yes, I have a lot of work to do. I've prepared some clothes for you. Take a bath. Thank you so much. Stop overreacting. Oh my god. I want to come back home. I don't want to stay here. Why? Don't you think those games are too scary? I was a bit scared, but I don't think it was too scary. Really? I can't stand it anymore. I feel pretty nauseous. Oh, that's terrible. Hey, stop overreacting. No, I feel this way. Okay, if you can't stand it, you can go home. Will you continue? Of course. I find it interesting. The roller coaster is really interesting. You're so brave. I will never try it again. But I will wait for you. What an idea. What should we do now? The teacher said we need to check the assignment again and fix it. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm fed up with this content. What an idea. If we give up now, we will fail the semester. Do you really want that? No way. I just said that. We have to finish it well. I don't want to get a bad mom. But it's really hard. I believe that if we do it and research it carefully, we can do it well. Okay, let me search for it again. Let's read together. How do you think I look? Hey Jane, come over here and have a look at this dress. Wow, it looks lovely. Why don't you try it on? It looks like it will fit you. Okay, I'll try it on. So how do you think I look? Does it look good? Perfect. It fits you and you look very pretty in it. I think I will buy this one. You really should. Asian food. Let's go out to eat. That sounds like fun. Where do you want to go? Let me think a minute. I want to eat Thailand food. That sounds delicious. 
I want some pad thai. I know a good Thai restaurant. How far away is it? About 15 minutes from here. Great, let's go. Have you ever gone abroad? Where did you go on your last holiday? I went to Hokkaido. It is in the north part of Japan. Wow, that's great. I've never been to Japan. Who did you go with? I went there with my boyfriend. We wanted to relax and also go shopping. Sounds good. Isn't it expensive there? I've heard it's really expensive in Japan. Well, it depends on which city you go to. In the north part of Japan, it's not that expensive compared to Tokyo, for example. Oh, okay. So how about you? Have you ever gone abroad? No, I haven't. I always hope for a chance to go to South Korea. Have you been to South Korea? Yes, I went there in October last year. Great, which city did you visit? We went to Seoul, it's very tourist friendly. Sorry for the inconvenience. I was meaning to talk to you about something. What do we need to talk about? Was there a party going on in your apartment on Friday? Yes, I did have a few people over. It was way too loud. I didn't realize that I was making a lot of noise. I couldn't sleep with how loud it was. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. It's alright. But next time, could you try to keep it down? I will. Thank you, because that would be great. You're welcome, and again, I apologize for the inconvenience. Be patient. Excuse me? Do you know which bus goes to the city center? Yes, you need to take the 64 bus. Thank you. Do you know when the 64 bus comes? I don't know. I have been waiting for the 66 bus for 30 minutes already. Oh my god. Does it always take so long for the bus to come? No, the bus usually comes every 15 minutes. But I have no idea what happened today. Oh no, I'm going to be late. Be patient. I guess the bus is coming. Yeah, I hope the bus comes soon. I do not want to be late. Yes, me too. On cloud nine. Hello, James. Morning, Jack. How are you today? I'm great. And you? Not too bad. Have you heard about Helen's new job? No, I haven't. What's wrong? Helen is currently a lecturer at Oxford University. That's great. Was Helen pleased about getting that job? Pleased? She was on cloud nine. Uh -huh. That is the dream job of many people. You're right. Buying a new computer. What are you looking for? Mom, I'm going to the university next year, so I think I should try to buy a computer for my studies. So how is the computer you are using? It's too old, Mom. It often has problems. I will need a new one to do assignments and prepare presentations. If so, then you probably need to buy a new laptop. Yes, I'm looking to see if anyone is selling their old laptops. No need. Let's go to the store tomorrow to get a new laptop for you. Using a new device will be more convenient. 
Really? Thank you so much, Mom. Paying the bill. My pasta was really good. How was your curry? It was delicious, but a little spicy. My lips are still burning. Do you have room for dessert? Well, I don't think I could eat another bite. The curry was very filling. Have you finished your meal, sir? I believe so. Could we please get the bill? Of course. Just let me clear these dishes and I will be right back. Okay. Here's your bill. Thank you. Is service included? No, it isn't. I hope you enjoyed your meal. It was lovely, thank you. Please put in your pin number and then press enter. All done, thanks. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. What is your purpose for doing that? Jane, what are you doing? I am building an automatic apple peeler. What is your purpose for doing that? Uh, I'm going to participate in a competition next month. That's fantastic. When does the competition take place? The competition takes place on June 15th. That means you have about 20 days to prepare. Right. Anyway, why are you here? I want to ask you to go to the movies. What film? A new comedy is out. That movie was highly rated. That sounds interesting, but you know I'm pretty busy. That's okay. When you have free time, we will go to the movie. Earth Hour. Hey Tom, I'm now working on an environmental project. Could you just answer a few questions? Okay. What do you do to save the earth? I plant more trees. Great idea. What else? I also volunteer for beach cleanup campaigns. It was fun picking up the trash with everyone. I heard about that, but I didn't have time to join. What else can I do to protect nature? You can build good habits at home, such as turning off the lights when not necessary. I think that's great. You can also join the Earth Hour movement. This even encourages everyone to switch off electrical equipment in their house for one hour. Sounds great. I heard that it's held the last Saturday every March, right? That's right. New Pet House. Excuse me, I am looking for a new cat house for my kittens. Good morning, miss. How many kittens do you have? Around 10 of them. I want to buy a toy house for all of them to play with. Well, if so, what do you think about cat trees? Cat trees? Can you show me around? Have a look at this one. It's a three-story tower for kittens to play on. It looks dangerous. What if my cats fall? No worries, miss. This cat tree is ultra durable. It's strong enough to hold all of your cats. But I have to say that my kittens are quite aggressive scratchers. If so, this one is definitely destined for you because it's wrapped with Cecil's. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, Cecil's are very pet friendly and can help you protect your furniture. Your cats are gonna fall in love with it. Sounds cool. I want this tree to be delivered to my house. How did you know that?
Look at this pumpkin artwork. It's so abstract, but aesthetic. Do you know the meaning behind this pumpkin? No idea. But I guess Yaoi Kusama, the artist, must be obsessed with eating pumpkins. Wow. <laughs> That's a funny thought, though. Actually, pumpkins represent positive messages to help Kusama overcome her childhood fear. Really? How did you know that? Honestly, Yayoi Kusama has always been my cup of tea. I enjoy your artwork a lot. And I'm always curious about the meaning behind her artwork. No wonder you never miss her art exhibitions. Meet the deadline. Hi Jade, how's it going? Hi David, ugh, I'm totally worn out now. What's wrong? I need to meet three deadlines tonight. Are they math assignments? Not only math, but I also have to deal with history research and a science project. So, you have to submit everything by email? Yes, and I can start doing math now because that's my favorite subject. I also enjoy science, so there won't be a big deal there. But history is a little bit... Uh, never mind. I can give you a hand if you don't mind. Huh? Really? But how? I have a lot of history books for you to borrow. Oh, come on! The deadline is tonight, and I don't have time to read at all. What are you scared of? OMG, look, a spider! Why are you yelling? It's just a little spider. It can't hurt you at all. Spiders are my worst nightmares. I've had bad experiences with them. What happened? Really don't want to recall this, but there was once. Two spiders were crawling on my body while I was sleeping. Ew. I know, right? I can never be friends with them. What about you? What are you scared of? Hmm, probably ghosts, but only when I watch horror movies. I seldom think about them. Really? I don't believe in ghosts at all. At the wedding. OMG! Look at the bride and the groom! They look so gorgeous next to each other. Aw, look at that wedding dress. I heard through the grapevine that the groom proposed to the bride in Paris. How romantic he is. Yeah, when I heard that they tied the knot, I felt like they are destined for each other. By the way, are you the bride's or the groom's friend? Actually, I am one of the bride's relatives. I am her cousin. Ah, I see. That's why I haven't seen you before. My name is Olivia, and I'm the bride's friend. Nice to meet you. I'm Sam. Let's toast their wedding. How slow they crawl. Look at those slugs and snails. How slow they crawl. We have to throw them away or else they're going to eat all of our vegetables. Ew! I don't even want to touch them. Just put on your gloves and pick them up. It's going to be all right. Fine, I'll try. You made it. But why are there so many slugs and snails in our garden? Snails are attracted by damp and cold conditions. Yesterday was rainy, right? No wonder. Cheerleader. Hey John, are you coming to the football game this afternoon? 
Why not? My brother will play for Team Lion. I'm going to cheer him on. Oh, really? Then I guess we could not sit together. Why? Are you supporting Team Whale? Sorry, but that's true. It's okay, bro. Actually, I'll also come to enjoy the cheerleader's performance. I know you have a crush on Nancy on the cheerleader team. Why is your voice so loud? She's around here. If Nancy knows about this, I cannot meet her anymore. But she's so cool in the cheerleading uniform, right? And she's always full of energy. I wish I could be her boyfriend. Don't steal her from me. Horoscope sign. I want to break up with Tim. Wait, what? You guys are getting on so well with each other. What's the matter? He's too serious about some problems. I mean, he's kind of practical compared to a romantic person like me. Is he a Virgo? Huh? How did you know that? Well, it's obvious because Virgos are the type of people who are logical and systematic. Kind of like a perfectionist, right? OMG, I couldn't agree more. I don't think Virgos can go further with a Pisces like me. Yeah, I think your horoscope sign is quite sensitive and empathetic. You can say so. Year-end party. Are you joining the year-end party, Aya? It's on December 31st, right? Yep. Are you available on that day? I'm not sure because December 31st is my boyfriend's birthday. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm quite in two minds about going to the party. Or celebrating my boyfriend's birthday with him. I heard that you can invite your family members or friends to the party. Why don't you attend the year-end celebration with him? That's a good idea. Yeah, there's going to be a dance as well. You guys can enjoy the food and dance together. I hope he agrees to go with me. I'm sorry, that's personal. I didn't know you had such a large library. My father built this room for me. He bought me all the books here. Have you read all the books here? No, but I will try. Can I borrow some books? Of course. Thank you. What books are those? They're my diaries. And the few notebooks in which I record my new experiences. Can I read some? I'm sorry, that's personal. Sure. Read this. You will like it. Okay. He's short on cash. How was your date with the guy on the dating app? Which guy are you asking about? The handsome guy. Oh, I met him last week. What does he look like? He is even more handsome than his photos on social networks. Wow. Has he become your boyfriend? I don't see him anymore. Why? On our first date, we went to a fancy restaurant. And then what happened? After the meal, when he paid, he was short on cash. He can pay by card. He said that he forgot to bring his card, and his phone was out of battery. So what did he do? He told me to pay. Then he would transfer the money to me. Has he transferred the money to you? After that day, I couldn't contact him anymore. It's true, that handsome guy can't be trusted.
She was born to dance. Did you see Anastasia's performance last night? Of course. She asked the whole company to watch her performance. I didn't expect her to dance so well. Anastasia and I went to the same high school. She took part in many cultural activities at the school. She dances very well. She was born to dance. Yeah. Normally, she looks shy, but when she dances, she looks so charming. Yes. When she dances, she looks more confident and attractive. Now she is famous throughout the country. Yeah, everyone talks about her. I'm not surprised. Have you heard anything? What's up? John and Wendy are married. Can you believe it? They got married, but they are always quarreling. I'm not surprised they got married. Why? That really surprised me. They often quarrel, but if you pay close attention, you will see that John always cares about her. Really? At company parties, they often come together and leave together. You're right. They always stick to each other. Hi! Congratulations! Thanks, Mary. Do you think Paris or Korea would be better for a honeymoon? Paris, I think. Yeah, Paris is a romantic place for honeymooners. But I want to go to Korea. No, honey. Why do you want to go to Paris? And why do you want to go to Korea? I'm having second thoughts. What are you doing? I'm shopping online. Come here and join me. Okay. What are you going to buy? I was going to buy a dress, but then you see... This shirt is so beautiful. These jeans are great, too. You're right. I think this shirt fits your style well. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. How much? $70. Just buy it. Wait a second. Why? It is $70. I'm having second thoughts. What? You spent $100 on a dress without a second thought. I know. That was me in the past. But now, I need to save money. Okay. He's down on his luck. What movie are you watching? Fate. What is the movie about? The film is about an unlucky man. He was born into a broken family. His father left him to go to another country. His mother left him to marry a lover. Poor guy. Then he grew up and became a salesman, and he married a beautiful girl. And is he the best salesman? No, he's the worst salesman. He doesn't have enough money to support himself and his wife. Oh, I thought... Then his wife left him. He's down on his luck. Yes. How does it end? I don't know, it hasn't ended yet. I'll watch it with you. You have no idea how relieved I am. Finally! What a relief! What makes you relieved? I have finished my last exam. It's just the last exam. You have no idea how relieved I am. You take it too seriously. Brother, maybe it's nothing to you. But I'm a student. It's quite important for me. 
Would you like something to eat? My treat. Really? Just today. You've never been so kind. So we'll go home. In your dreams, I want an extra large seafood pizza and Starbucks. All right, let's go. Thanks, Liam. Sooner or later. Yesterday was the first time I heard you sing. Your voice is really amazing. Thank you. Do you want to be a singer? Yes, I want to be a singer. But I'm afraid to perform in front of a crowd. When performing in front of a crowd, I tremble and I can't sing. You can practice and gradually you'll get used to it. Can I? You can do it. If you have dreams of music stardom, you'll need to perform in front of the public sooner or later. I know. Let the world hear your voice. They will love you. Thanks, Bella. I will. I'd be very surprised if you lost. Let's have steak for dinner. No, bro, I'm saving money. I'll pay. Really? Why? I just won a competition. What competition? An eating competition. I thought I lost. There was a lot of food. I'd be very surprised if you lost. You have a big stomach. You'd surely win. Really? Yeah. You still have room after the competition. Right. Ha 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 ha. So where are we going to eat tonight? I know a good place. I lost track of time. Linda, come here. What's wrong? The Paris series has released part two already. Come and watch it with me. No, I have an essay to finish by tomorrow. You only need to watch it for about 30 minutes and then do your essay. What time is it? It's 5 p.m. now. Okay, just 30 minutes. Sure, come here. Oh my god, it was really good. Yes, I love it. Oh wait, Jesus. What's wrong? Oh no, I lost track of time. I still have to complete my essay by tomorrow. I think you can still make it. Oh no. Are you coming? Tom, why is Jim so late? I don't know. He told me he left home 30 minutes ago. That's weird. Should we call him? Yeah, now it's rush hour. I think he is stuck on the highway. Hey, Jimmy. Hi. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. Why are you so late? The movie is going to start in 15 minutes. Really? I thought it was 10 a.m. No, it's only 9. It is 9, 10 a.m. Where are you now? Okay, I'm coming now. I'm in a grocery store nearby. I thought it was 10. Oh gosh, quick! Okay, I'm coming right now. Look before you leap. I am going to quit my job at KL Group. Are you kidding me? Isn't that your dream job? You had to go through many hardships to have the opportunity to work there. I know, but I'm really stressed at the moment. 
I don't know how to balance my work life. Look before you leap. With my work experience, I believe I can find another more suitable job for me. I believe in you, but you should consider it carefully. It can affect your whole life. I know. I'm trying to balance everything. If it doesn't work, I will quit, unfortunately. Come by your side. Have you wound the watch? Do you know what time it is? What's up? It's still early. Early? We are 15 minutes late already. Our train left. No way. Are you kidding me? No, I had to change our tickets. When I left home, it was only 2 p.m. It takes around 15 minutes to drive. I can't be late. It is 3.15 now. That's weird. Oh my, my watch is still too now. Have you wound the watch? I forgot to. I'm so sorry, my bad. Now we need to wait for another hour because of your dead watch. It was an accident, you know. Though I'm sorry, it's my fault. I am feeling tired today. Hey Rose, I'm feeling tired today. Should we call a taxi? Are you sick, honey? You should stay at home. Or I can drive. No, I'm fine. I'm just lacking sleep. However, you can't drive. You don't have a license. But I know how to drive. I don't need a license. It will be a big problem if the police check us. We should call a taxi. Okay. Do you want to take a test again someday? Absolutely, yes. But I'm a bit nervous. I failed last time. I will teach you this time. I believe you can pass it. Okay. Can we start next month? Sure. Whenever you have time. Thanks, honey. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hello. Hi, is this Mr. John's number? Yes, it's me. Who is speaking? Hi, Mr. John. I'm Anna from the Floral Clinic. Yeah. You are going to have an appointment to check your teeth this Friday at 5 p.m., right? Yeah. However, Dr. Peter urgently has a meeting at that time. He's afraid that he cannot come back on time, so is it possible for you to reschedule for 6 p.m., please? I think it's okay for me. Thank you so much. I confirm your appointment at 6 p.m. on Friday. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience. That's fine. No problem. Thanks for understanding. See you on Friday. Bye. I have no idea. Alice, what are your plans for the weekend? I have no idea. Well, if you don't have any plans, your family could have dinner at my house. It's my wife's birthday. That's very nice of you. Thanks. I will come. Have you bought her a birthday present? Not yet. I think I'll go to the mall this evening. It's going to be really crowded at the mall. You should shop online. Good idea. What do you think you'll buy for her? Probably a romance novel. She likes reading books. Don't you think you should get her something a little more romantic? Like jewelry, for example. Maybe you're right. I will think about it. Could you stay away from my stuff? Mommy, what are you doing? I'm packing stuff for my business trip. Can I go with you? It will be nice, I promise. I really want to go with you, but it is a business trip, sweetie. 
I'll have no time to play with you. Next time, I promise. Okay. What is this, Mom? Can I draw on it? Lisa, could you stay away from my stuff? Those are my important documents. I will have big trouble if they are damaged. Okay, I'm so sorry. That's fine. I promise I will buy new toys for you when I'm back. Great. Thank you, Mom. Yes, by all means. Hey, I heard that you just bought a new apartment, right? Yeah, it is a cozy apartment. How many bedrooms are there? Only two, and one living room and one bathroom. That's perfect. I also plan to buy an apartment like that. Yeah, I used installment payments with reasonable interest. Wow, can I come and have a look at your house? Yes, by all means. I am free every weekend. Would you mind if I come by this Saturday? It's okay. If you want, I can also give you the number of the real estate broker. Thank you so much. How dare you. David, what are you doing? Hey, Brian, I'm playing video games. Look, I'm good at this game. What? Why are you playing video games? What's wrong? It is my PS4. How dare you touch it without asking for my permission? I asked mom. She told me I can play it. It's mine, not hers. You need to ask me, obviously. I'm so sorry, Brian. Can I play it? Okay, only 20 minutes. Then it's my turn. Okay. Let's catch up. It has been a long time since Tom came to our house. Yeah, recently we argued and we haven't seen each other since that day. What happened? He doesn't agree with my strategy for the basketball game, and then we lost that day. Come on, you are best friends. You can sit and talk about it. He must have his own reason. The only reason is his stubbornness. I can't accept it. But did you talk to him? Not yet. So you can't be sure. Let's catch up and make up with him. How interesting he is. You know what? Today my office has a new member. Boy or girl? A boy. Oh, that's why you look so excited when talking about him. Yeah, maybe. How interesting he is. Tell me. He is the most humorous person I have ever met. Really? He just told us some stories and all of us laughed all day. That's fun. Does he have a girlfriend? That's what I want to know about him. I will ask him tomorrow. Well, he is your ideal type. A person with a sense of humor. Exactly. If he calls you, you should go. Hey, you have a phone call. I know. But why don't you answer the phone? Do you know who is calling me? Who? My manager. Oh, he is an important one. Why don't you answer? Well, it's 8 p.m. now. When he calls me at that time, I'm sure that he wants me to do something or go somewhere. I think at least you should answer because you're his assistant. But I'm so tired. I've already worked all day. Oh, he's calling me again. What did he say? He wants me to go with him. 
If he calls you, you should go. Okay, well, it is my responsibility. Exactly. Bye! Can I come with you? Henry, today I have a party at my company. I won't have dinner at home. Oh, I love parties! Can I come with you? Sorry, but I can't bring you to this party. Why? I usually go with you to parties. Right, but I will be quite busy since I'm the manager. I can't take care of you. Yes, Mom. Don't be sad. I'll get you your favorites for dinner. You can call your friends to eat with you. Really? That would be great. Okay. I will come home late. Remember that you should go to bed early. Is 11 p.m. okay, Mom? No way. 10 p.m. How about 10.30? Nope. How did that appear out of nowhere? Alex, come here. What happened? I'm cooking. Come on. Oh, whose car is this? I don't know. I'm going to go to the supermarket, and I saw it here. How did that appear out of nowhere? Who knows? Does it belong to the neighbor? Anna? No, this is not her car. Hmm. This is weird. Should we call the police? I don't understand what's going on. Uh, check our camera first. We will know its owner. Right. Let me see. He's probably still asleep. Good morning, Mrs. Daisy. Rio, how are you? I'm doing great. That's good. Are you looking for Henry? Yes, I called him, but he didn't answer. Where is he? He's probably still asleep. Oh God, really? Yeah, he is still in his room. We agreed to go to the library at 8 o'clock, but it's quite late now. He hasn't told me about that. You can go upstairs and wake him up. Yes, thank you. Have you had breakfast? Have breakfast with us. Thank you so much. Please send the package to my address. Here are the books you want. Twelve books, right? Yeah, I have checked them out for you. Thank you. But, well, that's a lot of books. I'm afraid that I can't bring them home by myself. We can help you to pack them. And if you want, we can assist you with home delivery. Wow, thank you. Please send them to my address. Sure. Please write down your address here. Okay. After completing the packing, we will send it to you. Thank you so much. Here are my phone number and address. Please send them to me today. Got it. I can't wait to go home. Cindy, can you come to our house today? I don't know, Mom. I haven't finished my work. When you finish your work, come as fast as possible, okay? Yeah, sure. But is there anything wrong? Your Uncle John's family is visiting us and we are preparing dinner. That's great! I haven't seen them in a long time. Yes, they are asking about you. 
I'll be done soon. I'm preparing your favorite mashed potatoes. Wow, that's wonderful. I can't wait to go home. Come quickly, but be careful. Everyone is waiting for you. Sure, don't worry. I will finish my work soon. Don't cut your hair. Hannah, what do you think about me with short hair? Short hair. Oh. I really want to change something. But don't cut your hair. You think so? Yeah. I guess you're not suited for short hair. Why? Your face is quite gentle. You're built for long, bouncy, shiny hair like now. But I want to change. Long hair can also be changed. How? You can curl it or cut layers, even dye your hair. Yeah, maybe you're right. If you want to change yourself, you can change your style first, I think. Okay, I will try that. Pipe dream. I'm so tired of my work. Do you want to change your job? Nah, I'm just saying. Well, then. Do you know what my dream is? What's that? I have to do nothing and still have food, clothes, money, and a nice home. Wow, a life like a billionaire without working. Right? It would be great. What a pipe dream. <laughs> no one taxes dreams. I think we have to work to serve ourselves. I know, but it's too boring to continue with this 9 to 5 job. I'm fed up with it. What else would you do to earn money? I don't know. What is your all-time favorite band? Mom, what is your all-time favorite band? Oh, it's the 1975. The 1975? Yeah, I love this band so much. I discovered them when I was 20 years old. How many people are there in that band? The 1975 is a four-member British pop band. They're big in the UK. What kind of music do they usually play? They like to merge different types of genres into their music, such as synth pop, indie pop, rock, etc. What is your favorite song from the band, The 1975? My favorite song from them is Somebody Else. What's the strangest food you've ever eaten? Dad, what's the strangest food you've ever eaten? Well, it was fried Coke. What is that? Fried Coke is a frozen Coca-Cola flavored batter that is deep fried. Then topped with Coca-Cola syrup, whipped cream, cinnamon sugar, and a cherry. Wow, that sounds delicious. Where did you get this? I got this at the Dark County Fair, one of the better fairs in Ohio. How does it taste? Sweet, as I remember. Would you eat it again? No, son. Why? I don't like sweets. It's the sweetest food I have ever eaten. I like sweets. I really want to try it once. When the Dark County Fair opens, I'm sure they'll sell it again. You can go and try it.
You should take a break. What are you doing? I'm finishing my work. It's almost done. You look so tired. Yeah, I really want to go to sleep. Just shut down the computer and go to sleep. Well, I want to finish the work first. Oh, honey, you've been up late for more than a week. You should take a break or you'll get exhausted. I don't want the work to be delayed. Don't worry. After a good night's sleep, you'll feel refreshed and much more productive. You're right. Time to sleep. This is the information I need. Do you know where the plan for the New Year's event is? No idea. You haven't emailed it to me yet. Check your computer. It must be in some files. I know. But my computer is broken. The technician is fixing it. Then wait for the technician to finish fixing it. I need it for a meeting with the boss at 2 p.m. today. It's 1.45 already. Did you see a copy of it? I remember I left it somewhere in the office. Ask James. This morning James said he wanted to read it. Thanks, Owen. This is the information I need. There's nothing we can do now. Dad! What do we have for dinner today? I don't know. Your mother will be home late today because of an urgent meeting with a client. I'm hungry. Shall we help mom cook dinner? Okay, dad, let's cook. What do we cook? Chicken noodles. Sounds good. You're the main chef and I will support you. All right. Try it. Too salty, Dad. Really? It really is salty. What about now? Still salty, Dad. What should I do? We should wait for Mom to come home. There's nothing we can do now. You're right. Do you like horror movies? Do you like horror movies? Yes, I like them. What's the scariest horror movie you've ever seen? I think the scariest one for me is The Birds. Why? It's just very sinister the way that the birds stand there and look at people. And you know that it's going to be really bad very soon. What is your favorite type of horror movie? My favorite type is zombie movies. I've watched loads of zombie movies and I really enjoyed them. Do you like horror movies? No, I don't like horror movies at all. They just scare and startle me. How do sports benefit your body? You have a more muscular body since we last met. Thank you. I signed up for a fitness class. I also jog and skip rope every day. Great. How do sports benefit your body? They promote a good night's sleep. My heart improved in performance when it was regularly challenged with exercise. 
I feel it stronger. When I play sports, it helps me reduce stress also. I see. I really want to go swimming every day, but I don't have time. I've been busy for most of the week. You should schedule your time to take care of your health as much as possible. I will. I'm free all evening this week. Hello, can I borrow your notebook? This morning I was late and missed part of the teacher's lecture. Of course. I'm Michael, by the way. I'm Tia. Thank you. You're welcome. We're in the same class, but this is the first time I've seen you. Yeah, but I know you. Really? Um, can I have your phone number? In case you forget to give me the notebook. Really? No, I'm kidding. Hey! Do you feel like hanging out one day after class? Okay. What days are you usually free? Let's see. I'm free all evenings this week. Would you like to go to the movies tomorrow? Okay, I'd love to. I want to go back there. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Lucy. Did you go somewhere on your last holiday? I traveled to Iceland. That sounds exciting. Who did you go with? I went there with my wife. We wanted to relax and also go shopping. How long did you stay? We stayed there almost five days. Which hotel did you stay at? We booked a hotel online in advance. I can't remember exactly where it is, but the hotel was quite clean and great. Have you been to Iceland? No, I've never been to Iceland. You should visit Iceland once. Iceland is breathtakingly beautiful, and I want to go back there again. Go off the rails. Have you heard anything about Andrew? Not yet. I can't even call his parents. What a pity. He was a good student. Yes, he was a promising student. But he went off the rails after he started drinking. I will email him and his parents. Hope to hear from him. If you hear anything about him, please let me know. I worry about him too. Yes, sure. I have a class at 2 p.m., so see you later. Bye. Sorry for bothering you. Sorry for bothering you. Do you have a moment? Oh, yes. What's the matter? I need some data from the financial report to make a budget for the next project. Can I access the report from last month for reference? Good idea, but I need to ask our boss first. Okay, I will wait for you. He said it's okay for you to view, so here it is. It will be very useful, thanks a lot. No worries. Can you show me the nearest restaurant? Excuse me, sir. Yes, what's the matter? Sorry, but I'm quite new to this town. Can you show me the nearest restaurant? What kind of restaurant do you want to go to? Well, I'm a veggie. Are there any vegetarian restaurants near here? 
oh, I'm a vegan, and I'm going to my favorite restaurant right now. Want to join me? Really? Gosh, I'm so lucky that I found you. Actually, I'm staying at my friend's house. But since she eats meat, I couldn't eat any meals with her. That's all right. Let's visit that Amy restaurant. They serve the best veggie food in this town. I can't wait. What's on the menu today? Hi, what can I do for you? What's on the menu today? Today we have seafood and pepperoni pizza. We also updated our dessert menu with a wide range of donuts. Sounds good. Can I have a pepperoni pizza, please? Do you want anything to drink? Do you have watermelon juice today? Unfortunately, it sold out a few minutes ago, just before you came. Really? Fine, I'll have lemon tea then. Are you interested in trying any desserts? No thanks, I don't like sweets. All right, yours is $25 in total. Call it a day. Hi, Rosie. What you doing? I'm doing some gardening. Oh, really? I was about to ask you to go bike riding with me. Don't worry, I'll call it a day. Hi! Want to go bike riding now? Sure, but where should we go? Don't tell me we'll follow that same path as usual. Not today. We're going to ride along the coast. Sounds fantastic. Will we be able to see the sunset? Of course we can. But before we go to the coast, I'll show you the dandelion field uphill first. Dandelion field. How romantic. Let's go. Yeah, I bet you're going to love it. I won't take but a minute. Are you available now, Sarah? Sorry, I'm in a hurry to finish this report. I won't take but a minute. Okay, go ahead. I'm carrying out a survey of employee well-being. It only takes one minute to finish it. Is it okay if I ask you to fill it out? No problem. What is the deadline of this survey? 5 p.m. this afternoon. All right, I'll fill it out soon. Thank you so much. Do you need any help with the report? No, thanks. The work is almost done. Good luck. This is too good to be true. Hey, Jack. Is that your new car? Yeah, this is a family-friendly car with innovative technology. How much did you pay for it? Only 30000 Wait, what? This is too good to be true. I mean, this car looks so luxurious, but it's so cheap. I know, right? It was a real bargain. Which brand is it? This is from Toyota. Gosh, $30,000? No kidding, bro. Come on, let me drive you around. Can I? Okay. I'm so excited to ride in it now. Thanks for letting me go first. Honey, where are you now? It's almost 7 p.m. <laughs> Don't tell me that you have to work overtime today. Sorry, Bay, but the traffic here is terrible. I cannot even make a move. Can you wait for me for about 15 minutes? All right, I will wait for you. Thanks, darling. Bye. Making a surprise for your wife, right? 
Oh, um, yes. Today is our two-year anniversary. So I want to buy flowers for her. Oh, how sweet you are. I will let you go first. You can take my place if you want. Oh, really? Thanks for letting me go first. No worries, dude. Wish you the best of luck. You're a lifesaver. Oh my goodness! I forgot my laptop at home. How can I take notes during the lecture? How can you forget such an important thing like a laptop, Amber? I remember putting it in my bag this morning. What am I gonna do? Well, I have a laptop and a tablet. Do you want to borrow my tablet to take notes today? Really? Can I? Yes, of course. Tim, you're a lifesaver. What can I do for you? Well, you can buy me lunch if you don't mind. No problem. Lunch is on me. Thanks. Ha ha ha. What's on your mind? Jane! Jane! Huh? You scared the crap out of me! Sorry! I just saw you sitting there, so I want to talk. But it seemed like you were thinking about something. What's on your mind? I'm thinking about what I should eat for dinner. Really? Huh? <laughs> Let me give you some ideas. What are you thinking about? Fast food or a healthy diet? Well, today's my cheat day, so I'll go with junk food. There's a new pizza restaurant opening in the town. Want to give it a try? Sounds good. Let's eat there together. Let me drive you. Explain to me why. Tom, where did you go? Huh? Hi, Mom. Do you know what time it is now? I haven't seen you since 8 a.m. Why did you get home so late? Uh, I, I was... Explain to me why. Because I was preparing for your birthday. What did you say? Happy birthday to you, Mom. What? What just happened? Happy birthday, honey. Actually, Tom and I prepared to make a surprise for you. Tom was already at home, but he was waiting at his friend's house until 11.59 a.m. Oh, really? Gosh, I'm speechless now. You are the loveliest son and husband in the world. I know you're going to love it, Mom. Here's the cake. Please close your eyes and make a wish, Mom. I wish that our family will be happy and healthy forever. I can take you to work if you want. Evening, Lucy. I'm Katie. Hey, Katie. What's up? My car just broke down, and it's at the auto repair shop now. They said it'll take three days to fix it. Oh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't stop by your house to give you the documents. It's okay, I understand. I'll give them to you tomorrow, okay? Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. How will you go to work tomorrow? I don't know. By bus, subway, taxi. I can take you to work if you want. Oh, really? Yeah, of course. Thank you so much, Lucy. No trouble at all. See you tomorrow. See you. What was your first job?
It's been six years since we graduated from college. Yes, it has been a long time. Did you work part-time while in college? Yeah. It was at an electronic shop called Radio Shack. Is it big? It wasn't a big shop and only had between three and six employees for the one to two years I worked there. Did you like that job? I loved it and I had a great boss. What was your first job? My first job was to tutor my younger brother. Really? Yes, it wasn't an actual job, but I received a salary each month. Did you take your brother's money? As the Joker said, if you're good at something, never do it for free. So I charged my parents per month. Wow, you're good. I lost my laptop yesterday. Why do you look so sad? I lost my laptop yesterday. Really? I took a taxi home and left my laptop in the taxi. Poor you. Do you have any important documents on that laptop? Yes, of course. I've been feeling restless since yesterday. I see. Let's try contacting the taxi company and ask them to help. Tell them your address and the time the taxi driver dropped you off. I did. They said they will contact me when they have any information. Just wait until they contact you. There's nothing we can do now. I understand how you feel. What's wrong, Lily? No one understands me. You mean, your friends? Yes, I broke up with my boyfriend. I'm really sad and need them. But they all said I was stupid to date him and told me there was nothing to be sad about. I know my ex is so bad, but I can't be happy right now. I understand how you feel. I used to be like you. Really? Yes. How did you get over it? Time heals all wounds. Be sad until you forget him completely. Then you will be happy again. What you can do is focus on yourself now. Build up your confidence again. Thank you, Nancy. These are for you. Mom, who is she? She is Anna, the daughter of Mr. Peter, our neighbor. She is so cute. I want to be friends with her. So let's go there. Introduce yourself and tell her that you want to be friends with her. Do I need to bring a present or should I give her flowers? That's a good idea. I will give her the delicious cookies you made and a flower from our garden. You are such a sweet boy. Hello, my name is Steve. Hi, I'm Anna. These are for you. For me? Yes. Can we be friends? Yes. Thank you. Give someone a holler. Hey, Olivia. Hey, what's up? I have two opera tickets. Do you want to come with me? I'd love to, but when? This Saturday. Oh, what a pity. I have to move into a new house this Saturday. 
Oh, I didn't know. Where's your new home? It's about one kilometer from the old house. Do you need any help moving? No, I'll be fine. Thanks, Wang. Just give me a holler if you need anything. Thank you. You should ask Julia to go with you this Saturday. She also loves opera. Okay, I will call her. Do you like to work on a team or independently? Tifa, do you like to work on a team or independently? I love working on a team. Why? I believe that collective brains at work help me achieve greater results than working alone. Healthy and respectful disagreements when working as a team help me do things better. Makes sense. Do you like to work on a team or independently? I prefer to work independently. It takes a lot more time. Of course, working alone takes a lot more time, but I can do everything my way. I can listen to soft music, I can concentrate on what I'm doing. I'm just happier. I felt a little shy. Welcome home, Lucy. Hi, Mom. How was your first day at school? I have a friend named Jack. <laughs> He's very funny. That's great. What's your first subject? It's math. Do you like math? Yeah, I like it. Did you raise your hand to answer the teacher's questions? No, I didn't. Why? You like it. I felt a little shy. Why? What if I give the wrong answer? Don't worry. If you answer incorrectly, the teacher will show you the correct answer and you will remember it longer. You're right. Give the green light. Hello, honey. What's wrong, honey? Where do you want to eat out tonight? I wanted to eat at the Chinese restaurant we visited last month. Okay, we will have dinner there. So tell me the good news. My boss finally gave me the green light to start the new project. This means a lot to me. That's amazing. He saw my report and said this project would bring in big revenue, and I believe in that too. Congratulations! Try your best. They're together now. Do you remember Arif and Zach? Of course I remember them. They were close friends. They were inseparable when they were in school. That's right. You remember accurately. Of course. Once, Zach, Aerith, and I went to an amusement park together. Wait, really? The sad thing is that it's true. I can't even remember why I went with the two of them. What happened? They seemed to forget I was there. So I gave the two of them their own space and enjoyed the park by myself. They're together now. They're going to marry soon. Sooner or later. Time will tell. Have you heard about Neil? Not yet. What's wrong with him? When we all try to apply for work for large companies or corporations, Neil doesn't have to. Why? Do you know JTech Corporation? 
Of course. It's a famous technology corporation. Neil's father is the boss of that corporation. No way. Really? Yep. He didn't tell us. Normally, he looks like a homeless man. Who knew that he was a rich kid? His father wants him to inherit his career, but he refused. Why? He wants to follow his dream. What dream? He wants to be a singer. He's silly. Don't say that. Time will tell whether he made the right decision. I'm 100% certain. Hey, Linda. Hey, Violet. How are you? There's no time. Hurry up. Follow me. What happened? Your husband. Well, he is at the company. But I just saw him holding the hand of a girl entering the hotel. No way! Maybe you mistook him for someone else. I'm 100% certain. Follow me. See? David, what are you doing here? You see, she left home again. I was lucky to find her. Leave me alone. Stop it. Stop making messes. I have to get her back home first. See you at home. Okay. What's just happened? She's Anna, David's sister. She often runs away from home when her parents scold her. Really? Yes, adolescent teenager. David is the one who is always looking for her. I understand. I'm sorry. His story is fishy. And he opened a restaurant of his own. I congratulated him. He said that his restaurant is huge. He has more than 20 employees. And he also hired a famous Italian chef. Really? Where did he get the money? He said that he convinced some investors. Did he tell the truth? I don't know. I want to visit his restaurant. Do you know the address? Yes, let's go. Did you remember the right address? I'm 100% certain. He texted me the address. His story is fishy. This restaurant is too small and only has two employees. Should we go inside and eat? Yes, we should. I laughed so hard. I want to tell you that I have a boyfriend. Oh, Jesus, finally. Who is he? He is a friend of a friend of mine. What's his name? His name is Peter. How long have you two been dating? About two months. Wow. I introduced you to five guys, but you ignored all of them. Tell me. What's the most intriguing thing about him that made you fall in love with him? He is very funny. He makes me laugh all the time. I laughed so hard on the first date that I couldn't ignore him. Well, that's a good way to get to a girl's heart. It's not the end of the world. Why does Mary look so sad? I don't know. After the meeting with her team, she became sad. I'll bring her a cup of tea. Yes, I also think she needs it. Here, for you, Mary. Thank you. Are you okay? 
No, I'm not. What's wrong? I've worked hard in the past, but it's not appreciated. The one who got the promotion this month is Kate, not me. Don't worry, it's not the end of the world. Yes, probably Kate has also tried so hard to get the promotion. There are many other opportunities, you know. You're right. Thank you. It didn't live up to my expectations. What will you do this weekend? I don't have any plans. Will you go to the movies with me? Which movie? Let's watch the movie and part two. Okay, I really enjoyed part one of that movie. I will come to pick you up. Okay. What are you talking about? We're going to the movies on the weekend. Would you like to go with us? Okay. What movie are we going to watch? And part two. Oh, I watched it yesterday. Is the movie good? No, it didn't live up to my expectations. You guys should watch another movie. Maybe you're right, but I still want to watch it. Yeah. Okay. He looks puzzled. I heard you like Jenny. How do you know? The whole company knows that. Only Jenny doesn't know. Why haven't you confessed to her yet? You dare not confess. You're energetic and proactive at work, but in love, you seem shy. Jenny will belong to someone else if you don't tell her you like her. Okay, I'll confess to her today. Really? really? Yes, that's what a man should do. She's coming. Do it right now. Hi, Jenny. Good morning. I... I have... something to tell you. Yes, sure. I... you... Look at him. He looks puzzled. I have received your report. Okay, take a look at it and tell me what you think. Okay. I was mugged. What's wrong with your face? My face is swollen and hurts. Did someone hit you? Kinda, I was mugged. What? what? Who mugged you? I was mugged by three men. Oh my god. Are you okay? No, my face hurts. Do you know who they are? I don't know who they are. They wore masks. Why did they do that? They stole my bike. Where did you meet them? On the way back home. Report it to the police. Maybe they can catch those three men. Right, I'll call the police. He's completely wasted. Where's Paul? He is in the toilet. Again? He's completely wasted. Really? Yes. Paul was completely wasted after only two drinks. Poor Paul. Did he drive here by himself? I guess so. How can he drive home by himself? He was too wasted to drive. Martin or I can give him a ride. Okay. There he is. Hello there. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I don't think so. What should we do? I'll give him a blanket. He can stay at my house tonight. Oh, Paul. She's as stubborn as a mule.
Alan confessed to Glenda yesterday. What? That jerk? Did Glenda agree to be his girlfriend? Yes, she did. What? What did she think? I don't know. He betrayed Violet. Violet is our best friend and hers. And he dated many girls at the same time. We should talk to her. I don't think so. Don't waste words on her. Why? You won't get Glenda to change her mind. She's as stubborn as a mule. What do you mean I'm as stubborn as a mule? Glenda. Why are you dating Alan? I have a plan to teach him a lesson for treating Violet and the other girls poorly. Now this is the Glenda I know. Thank for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video.